Hello, welcome to Rollins' video. Now I know what you're thinking. Wait a minute, this isn't Rollins, who's this? Well this is Emerald Gamer, or just Emerald for short. I'm making this video for today, and I'm just here to say that Rollin is a part of a YouTube channel that I run called The Mineral Gamers. Uh, we do Let's Plays, and then soon to be Top 10s Reviews. So we're soon to be a large variety. And Rollin has talked about this in some detail, but I just wanted to give a little bit of a, a heads up directly from the, the man with the plan, Emerald Gamer himself, just so you guys will know. And it's going to be happening soon. He's finally going to be on the channel. I know I've been on his channel on a pre-release video that was uploaded not too long ago. You should check that out, by the way. And, uh, yeah, that, that's pretty much it, and that's all I have for you. This will probably be one of the only videos I ever edit, so, uh, and I don't end it very special. Enjoy the show. Hey guys, it's the one Ron Ryko here, and today I'm here with a nice and pretty Charizard tin opening. I believe it was one of the ones that was released a bit earlier in the XY series. I don't remember, but this one is the uh, EX Power Trio. And we've already opened the Venusaur over here, and now we're going with Charizard. I may still pick up the Blast Toys if I can find it. I just, there's a lot of them, so. And there's a sticker on the bag that says, do not backstop. I'm not sure what that means, but you know. Okay. I'm going to be honest, I've had this for like two weeks. I don't know, I've had this for like a month now, and I've been meaning to open it. It's just that college has got in the way. And that reminds me. Um, warning. Cat warning. As you saw in a previous video not that long ago, my cat almost jumped on the table. I currently do not know where he is. So, if you hear a little meowing sound and the pat uh, pitter-pattering feet and the sound of me panicking, you'll know why. Maybe I'll show him off one day. He's adorable. He also likes using this table as his bed. Anyway, cat warnings aside, I'm gonna pop open this tin. Let's slide this open. Get this plastic off. And I'll give you a view without the plastic on it. It's a nice and pretty tin. No matter what, I always love the tins because they always look really, really good. Especially the older ones. Like, I have a old one with a... I forget which one it was. It had the uh, Legendary Dogs on it, and it was the Entei one. That one's really nice. And they're always good for storage or really anything, so... I love the tins. Always. And they usually get you a nice variety of packs. You might not always get something crazy out of it, but it's always nice. Especially with the variety of packs you get in some of them. And here's the uh, Charizard promo. Let me pop that out. Nice and pretty. This is uh, Charizard. It's right here, so get the focus a little bit. With Stoke for one colorless, flip a coin. If head, search your deck for up to three basic energy cards and attach them to this Pokemon. Shuffle your deck afterward. Then Fire Blast for one fire and three colorless for 120. Discard an energy attached to this Pokemon. Pretty sure I have this in a non-promo form too. It's a decent Charizard. I mean, still hopes you get the energies for it. But anytime you have to discard energies, especially with that high of cost, it's never really fun to do. I mean, there's decks that can run it, I'm sure. But, you know, that's just me. That's just my opinion. I'm going to set this pretty card to the side here. And, of course, comes with a code card, which I'm going to keep because, you know, I'm evil and I... I want to get the tin online a little and then we get into the best part of these let me get these out set the tin off in the background we have four packs one phantom forces one furious fist one flash fire and one legendary treasures so i think i'm gonna open uh, furious fist then phantom forces then legendary treasures and then uh flash fire because it, I luckily got a Charizard Y out of the Charizard 10, so hopefully this one can bring us some luck later. So I'm going to set these to the side here. And we're going to start with Furious Fist. There's a lot of good stuff, even though I know this set, I believe, is out of rotation now. It's still a good set, just because there's a lot of pretty, pretty stuff in there. Like, if I can get me one of the Lucarios, Mega, or 
not, especially if I get that full art, oh, I'd be so happy. Slide this out, and you see, in that repackage, we got the original codes, which is always, always, always a good thing. And we're gonna move through to the front here, and let's see if we can start off with some magic. Alright, let's get the focus, we lead off a Licky Licky, Machoke, Training Center, Pat Rat, Cub Chew, Slack Off, Pikachu, Bustle, First Hollow Golet in the red pack, is a Gothitelle non hollow So we're starting off meh, but you never know, it gets better, you just gotta keep going. And now we have Phantom Forces here, can we get a VS Seeker, that's a, right now it's very very nice. Especially since uh, I mean it's e a bit easier to get cause it is in the uh, Keldeo vs Rayquaza deck, which I will get eventually, wait on it. But still, that's like 35 bucks for a VS Seeker. You know. Anyway, a Loudred. Ah, there we go, a VS Seeker right off the bat of the Phantom Forces. I say this tin's worth it. I'm gonna set that to the side here, that's very nice. Giraffe Rig, Skarmory, a Mola Lola, a Mola Mola, I think. I can never pronounce that one. Bunnelby. Rog and Rolla, Carablast, a Verse Hollow Trick Coin, and the Earth Back is a Swallow Non Hollow. I mean, so far this tin's been worth it just to get the VS Seeker because of how frustrating it is to get this card and how good it actually is. And now we move on to Legendary Treasures, which always seems to have something crazy in it just because of its base. It's got the same pull ratios, kind of, of generations, or it's set up, or generations is set up like this pack, I should say. So let's do that. Code to the side. Here in front. And let's get wild. We have a Torchic, Cedric Jupiter. Nobody has time to read all that. Subat, not to. Corp, corp, much corp. Mischievous, Trubbish. Verse Hall is a duot, that's nice. We got a Seismitoad, it's not the crazy good one. Cough, cough, but it's still Seismitoad. And the, legend and the rating collection card is a Pikachu, so at least we got something cute. At least we got something cute. That's something, that's cute. It's a very skinny Pikachu, like... Okay. Anyway, that's that's okay. It's okay. It's okay. We're going so- it's okay. It's okay, guys. It's okay. And now we're finishing off with Flashfire. So can Charizard bring the luck in this Charizard-based tin in a Charizard-based pack? Charizard. Let's hope. And this pack shredded like nobody's business. Anyway. Three to the front here. Now let's get into the last pack of this tin. We're leading off of the Pokemon fan club. We got a Love Disc, Protection Cube, Smeal, Scraggy, Litleo, Goomy, Skrelp, Verse Hollow Butterfree. That technically is a rare. And the right back is a wow! Failure! Two Butterfree, one pack. What is up with bugs, man? Bugs don't like me, man. Or actually, bugs like me. First, it was uh, Vespa Queen, and we know that whole story. Now, now it's just now it's just any bug. What is this? Come on. Anyway, you know I'll, that's okay. I'm okay with this tin opening because I did get a VS Seeker and a pretty Charizard promo. I'll take it. I'm not gonna complain. And a pretty tin to hold stuff later. Anyway, if you guys enjoyed this opening, please leave a like below and let me know what I can do better. Just go ahead and start a conversation. I don't mind. I'd love to hear what you guys have to say. And besides all that, I'm going to get out of here and I'll see you guys next time. See ya.